This video will guide you through the installation of horizontal cable railing on level deck surfaces, no bottom frame. Please understand all instructions completely before starting any part of the installation. Prior to starting the installation of any aluminum railing project, ensure you have the proper tools and safety protection. We recommend the following tools. Safety glasses, tape measure, pencil, level, miter saw with non-ferrous blade, cordless drill, four clamps, carpenter square, appropriate fasteners for mounting posts to deck surface, cutoff tool, six inch number two square drive bit, one eighth inch and three sixteenth inch drill bits, three sixteenth inch hex wrench included with cable kits, cable gripping tool, optional, cable cutting tool, optional, cable release tool, optional, threading tool, optional, 90 degree threading tool, optional. Kits and parts for assembly. 3 by 36 inch end post, 3 by 36 inch inline post, 3 by 36 inch corner post, 3 by 42 inch inline stair post, 3 by 42 inch end stair post. Each post kit includes an aluminum post tube with attached base plate, post cap, and two-piece base plate cover and an install guide. 3 by 42 inch end stair post kit includes 10 beveled washers, post to deck mount screws, anchors are sold separately. Horizontal cable kits available in lengths of 5 feet to 60 feet. One 1 8 inch stainless steel cable with pre-attached threaded stud in 5 feet to 60 feet lengths, increments of 5 feet. One 1 8 inch threaded receiver fitting. One 1 8 inch fast receiver fitting. Two stainless end caps. Horizontal cable deck stair top rail kit. One top rail snap. One top H channel. Two straight plastic plugs one angled plastic plug, one intermediate cable support, two deck attach clips, two stair attach clips, 12 number eight by three four inch self-tapping screws, one stair intermediate support. Important notes. Do not install base plate covers until railing assembly is completed. Actual cable panel lengths, 69.43 inches, and 91.31 inches. Three inch posts are required to reach six foot and eight foot lengths. Caution, if installing lighting, wiring must be installed prior to securing posts to deck surface and installing top rail snaps. Let's get started. First, we'll plan out and install the three inch aluminum posts. Determine necessary posts required, end, inline, or corner. Note, for structural integrity and proper installation, it is critical to use the correct railing posts in all locations. Corner posts are required for all 90 degree corners and inline posts are required for all 45 degree corners. 42 inch stair posts are required for stair applications. Plan ahead for cables up to 60 feet in length and install end posts at the appropriate locations. Important. For 90 degree corner post applications, prior to installing rail attachment clips, ensure plastic plugs are installed in two pre-drilled hole locations. Leave plastic plugs in place until threading cable through corner posts. Measure from the top of the base plate upper shoulder. Place a horizontal pencil mark at 33 and 3 8 inches for 36 inch rail height. Next, measure the center of the three inch posts and place a vertical mark at center of post. Install one upper attach clip per opening. Center one upper clip on pencil line. Secure attach clip with two number eight by three four inch self-tapping screws. Important, only install one upper clip per opening. Install proper post blocking. Use proper attachment screws or anchors as directed. Deck screws at each post location are not included with post kits. With 3 16th inch drill bit, 
pre-drill through deck boards and into blocking. Drill a 5 8 inch hole in center of four deck screw holes for lighting wires, optional. Level and plumb post using shims. Secure posts to deck with suggested screws. Deck installation without bottom rail. Use only deck stair top frame kits. Measure openings between posts and cut one U-channel per opening. Cut 1 16th inch less than opening size. Clean cut areas and apply touch-up paint on exposed ends. Measure and mark the center of top U-channel. Drill 1 8 inch hole in the center of top U-channel. Attach 3 4 inch by 3 4 inch plastic plug to the flat side of upper U-channel with one number eight by three four inch self-tapping screw. For 36 inch height railing, cut cable support to 34 inches. Important, only cut from bottom end of support, which can be identified by a longer section without a cable hole. Verify alignment of cable holes with posts before cutting. Measure between posts and mark center point on deck surface. Attach 3 4 inch by 3 4 inch plastic plug to the deck surface with one number 8 by 3 4 inch self-tapping screw. Insert 3 4 inch by 3 4 inch intermediate cable support onto plastic plug, which is attached to deck surface. Then attach upper U-channel by inserting attached plastic plug. Again, verify alignment of cable holes with posts. Secure one end of U-channel to pre-installed upper channel clip with two number eight by three four inch self-tapping screws. At opposite end of U-channel, insert rail clip into U-channel. Align top edge of rail clip against prescribed pencil line. Attach rail clip using four number eight by three four inch self-tapping screws. Clamp or hold the top snap against posts and mark for cutting. Cut top snap 1 16th inch less than opening size. Clean the cut areas and apply touch-up paint on all exposed metal. Install top rail snap by pushing down on snap until fully seated on the upper U-channel. Helpful hint! Apply downward pressure on top rail starting at one post and working towards the other post. Do not use a hammer to secure top rail. Next, we'll install the horizontal stainless steel cables. Insert the threaded receiver fittings into the post. Note, if end post was installed too close to a house wall, it may be necessary to loosen post anchor bolts. Note, plan so that the threaded receiver fittings are at the starting point and the fast fitting receivers are at the bottom of stair run or the final post on the deck. Cable runs cannot be longer than 60 feet. If railing is longer than 60 feet, an end post will need to be used to finish and start a new cable run. Thread the male swaged cable stud, attached to the cable, into the threaded receiver fitting, and turn three to four complete turns. Thread about one half of the stud into the threaded receiver fitting. Feed the bare end of the cable through all your intermediate cable supports and through the end post where you will be installing the fast receiver fitting. Corner post inserts allow for easy feeding of cable through 90 degree posts. Cable threading tools, straight and corner versions, are recommended for easy feeding of cables. When using the threaded tools, push the cable through posts rather than pulling them. This prevents separation of the cable and tool. Note, alignment plugs are installed in 90 degree posts to keep insert holes aligned. Do not remove plugs until cables are installed into empty holes. Rotate the fast receiver fitting clockwise as you push it onto the cable. If the cable begins to unravel, you are rotating the fitting in the wrong direction. Important, for bottom of stair runs, beveled washers must be installed to align fast receiver fittings with pre-drilled holes in post. Note. It is normal to have trouble inserting the cable into some fittings. This occurs if the locking mechanism is already locked. 
To free it up, insert a cable release tool or other tool with 1 8 inch or smaller diameter. Larger tools may get locked in the fitting and become very difficult to remove. Push the fast receiver fitting along the cable and firmly into the hole in your post. While holding the receiver against the end post, pull the bare end of the cable to remove as much slack in the cable as possible. Important! Inspect to ensure there is no slack against the whole length of the wire, especially around corners. If you need to remove a cable from the fast receiver fitting, slide a cable release tool onto the cable, then push firmly into the fitting. This will release the mechanism to pull the cable back out. Cut the cable flush with the hole in the back of the fast receiver fitting using a cutoff wheel. Go to the other end and tension the cable by holding the cable securely to prevent it from turning while you turn the threaded receiver fitting with a hex wrench. A cable gripping tool is recommended. Be careful to protect the cable from damage while tensioning. The male swaged cable stud will be pulled into the threaded receiver fitting by rotating the threaded receiver fitting clockwise. Tension all cables in sequence, beginning with the center cables, moving up and down toward the top and bottom. As you tension each cable, give it a sharp pull downward mid-span to help set the wedges, gripping mechanisms in fast receiver fittings, then re-tension as necessary in the same sequence. Be aware that the cable may move as much as 3 16th inch toward the tensioning terminal as the wedges seat. Press stainless steel caps onto all fast receiver fittings and threaded receiver fittings. Helpful hint! Spray window cleaner onto stainless steel caps to ease installation. Install post caps and post base plate vinyl covers after railing assembly is completed. Thank you for watching this video.